guys. Hey besties, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so in today's video, we're back on Miss Kindle because we are going to do another finish a book with me. I've done one of these before. Actually, kind of all my reading vlogs kind of are like this because I usually start my reading vlogs like in the middle of a book. I've done one of these before and like within a, a vlog, like I did like a week in a life and finish a book with me, but this one is just gonna be a finish a book with me. We are reading, if you can't already tell by the shirt, period. We are reading Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is the second book in the Chestnut Springs series. I recently finished Flawless. Even though it's only the second one in the series, I really wanna just finish where I'm at because I'm about to leave for a two week trip to South Korea. So I'm really excited about that. And I hope you'll tune in for the vlogs because I have a really exciting like book video planned out of there. So I got you, don't worry. But I just really wanna get this book done because I have a ton of other books that I'm gonna be putting on my Kindle for that trip. And I don't wanna feel like I have an unfinished book, you know? So. I leave on Saturday and it's Wednesday right now. Welcome to another vlog. This is gonna be a reading vlog, um, but just, you know, finish a book with me and then we'll talk about, I'll talk about Heartless and I'll talk about Flawless um, at the end of this video. I'll give my opinions on both. I think I've rated Flawless on Goodreads already, but I still need to talk about that book because oh my God. But I think I'm liking Heartless more. Spoiler. Anyways, <laughs> hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another vlog. I just hit like 80% in the book. So I figured I would give you just my thoughts up until this point and maybe also talk about a little bit of flawless. We might save that for the end though, I'm not sure. We'll just see how I'm feeling right now to be honest with you guys. Heartless, let's just get the bullet points, right? So single dad trope, nanny trope, Chestnut Spring series, which if you don't know, the first book is Flawless. This is the second book in the series written by Elsie Silver, Country Boy Vibe, Horses, Rodeo, Ranch, you know just to give you some highlights some bullet points so what are my thoughts kind of obsessed not kind of am obsessed i am obsessed like look i bought i bought a shirt like i am obsessed with these books i think i like heartless more than flawless and i loved flawless i think i let me check i think i gave flawless five stars so yeah I gave Flawless five stars. Let me just read you guys my Flawless little review that I left on Goodreads. <laughs> Such a complete romance, super quick read, but it felt like there was so much story. Take me to Chestnut Springs. I think I love cowboys. Like, honestly, truly, like, that's truly the biggest takeaway. No, but it's really good. I really love Elsie Silver's writing. I love the humor in her books. I love the friendship aspects in her books. I love the way she introduces characters for the next books in the books before. Like, we did get a little introduction to Cade in Flawless, the first book, which Cade is, you know, the brother that this book is about. Kind of gives me the same sort of vibes as the Dreamland Billionaire series, where they were all connected, but all very different and could essentially be standalones, you know, on their own if you wanted to read them. But essentially, it is a series and a progression of a story, you know? This is my first time reading anything Elsie Silver, um, and I love it. I flew through Flawless. I read it in like two days, I think. And I could have flew through this as well. I could have flew through Heartless as well, but I took my time with it. And it hit the part where you're like, oh God, this could go really wrong. And that's where I took a break. 
That's where I took a break because I was like, oh, I can't deal with this right now. But it didn't. I just read that part where I left off and it didn't go as bad as I thought it was. So we're all good there. 10 out of 10. But you never know with books. There's always, you know, the romance. You always have to go through the like right before the book's over. They have to break up and then they have to get back together. That whole thing. It's like, God. can we just skip it sometimes? I get it for some books, but can we just skip it sometimes? Like when the characters have been through enough, you know? Like when they've been through enough already in their own lives, I just don't think they need to deal with that. I just feel like they deserve like a, like we don't need the drama every time. Maybe that's, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Hopefully we don't hit that part. Hopefully it's smooth sailing for Kate and Willa. Also love the name Willa, um, the, you know, female lead in the book, the main girl in the book. Her name is Willa and I'm obsessed. I love Luke, the kid in the story. So like I said, it is the whole like single dad trope. Normally not the biggest fan of that sort of vibe in the book, but this one is really good. Really, really good. Similar to like Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score, that sort of vibe where you just love the dynamic. You love the like new found family dynamic. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think I'm liking Heartless more. So I'm really excited about this. It's just been getting better and better. Really excited to continue the series. Don't know when I will continue this series. Kind of feel like I might finish it when I get back from Korea. But I do have plans to do a book, bookish vlog um while i'm in korea so that's really exciting there's just a lot of like book places libraries bookstores that sort of thing that i have full intention of going to and visiting um so i'm gonna you know just compile it into a vlog and also share with you guys what i'm reading while i'm there and yeah i'm really excited about that so i don't know when that'll be uploaded because i'm just gonna film a ton of videos while i'm there and then i'm gonna get home and edit them and upload them over the next couple of weeks when i'm back so look forward to that but yeah i'm really excited but we gotta get it we gotta get a little tbr for when we go i don't think i'm gonna bring any physical books with me we'll see where we end up but yeah that's where i'm at that's my just general thoughts on the chestnut spring series and so i'm probably gonna finish this off to tonight and then I'll give final thoughts but yeah I really love this series like I really love the series I can't wait to finish this book to be honest hey hi okay so why do I look so like why is it so bright I have, like a light on what so it is much much later like what even time right okay could I just show the time anyways 12 25 right now literally been so long since I talked to you guys last, I've just been busy, love. Do you know what I mean? Like, crazy. So busy. Anyways, if you didn't believe me showing you the turn on my phone, you'll be able to see it in my under eye bags, my dark circles. Ugh. Last time we talked, I was 80% in the book, and we can finish that tonight, and we're gonna, because let's just, let's just finish. You know, let's just finish this book. Also, I've been sitting here, drinking a celsius literally sitting here drinking a celsius not aware of the time it was so it's gonna be an all-nighter totally just it is what it is right so i might as well finish this book and then talk about it when we're done i do have like a couple more orders to pack maybe i'll do that and then i'll read either way i'm gonna read literally the entire day has passed isn't that the, that's literally every reading vlog i'm like hey so it's been 10 hours how are you guys i'm gonna read i really don't want to pack the orders because i am a little bit tired but like i said we just drank that celsius so girls like buckle buckle up you know strap in you're not going to sleep what are you kidding Ugh. Gross. Someone commented on my Kindle video how you can turn off the ads. I keep forgetting how to do that, but honestly, it's kind of like a fun little game. What's it gonna be? Whoa, jump scare. The Celsius is truly talking to you guys right now, not me. So I do apologize. I will probably cut all this out, but I will see you when I read. Whenever that is.
Hi guys, okay, hold on. Now it's the next morning, first thing in the morning, and I just finished Heartless. I literally last night had like 3% of the book left and I was like, let me just leave it for the morning. Honestly, it wasn't even last night though. Honestly, we literally, I literally like pulled an all-nighter last night. That was ridiculous and I don't even know why. Guys, I love these books so much. Oh my God, no, I love these books so much. Like it's actually, oh, this is so bad. I'm over here like, can I read the next one before I, before I go? Like, do I have time? Like not for a video, you know, just like reading it quick on my own. Like, can I do it? But like the description of the next one looked like it was, it seems like it's going to ruin me, like just wreck me. So I don't know if I should do that before I go. I feel like maybe I should do it when I get back. I love Elsie Silver's writing so much. I talk about this a lot in books, but setting and description of setting is like a huge, huge deal for me when I'm reading. It doesn't matter what I'm reading. I'm just a very visual reader. So like I have to be able to picture where this book is taking place. I love when the description is like, you know, obviously very descriptive, but I also love when like it's a bit open and you can kind of imagine on your own, you know, w with the help of the descriptions. I just love that so much. And the way Elsie Silver describes Chestnut Springs and the Wishing Well Ranch just, it's top tier. Like coming from someone who just values descriptions in a book, I'm telling you, these are just so good. And let me tell you why. It's not even like you're getting like a full paragraph, like the wind was blowing and the birds were chirping and the grass was greener than I've ever seen and all this kind of stuff like it's not that vibe it's like it's like in between right it's like in between the little moments that she gives like a description right like and it's like <sighs> let me try to find let me try to find the quote I don't know if I highlighted it but girl it really oh my god let me read this you guys he rocks us gently like a soft quiet dance the only music is the chirping of birds and gentle breeze across the hay field out back no, shut up. Shut up. <sighs> so you know what I mean? Like, it's like the little tiny descriptions that just make these books unreal. Absolutely unreal. So I already told you guys that I gave Flawless a five stars. I'm not gonna go crazy about Flawless. Flawless was really good. I loved Flawless. Um, I loved Rhett and Summer. And I really loved Flawless as an introduction to the series. A hundred thousand percent. Heartless, this one that I just read, was very chestnut springs right like it was very there it was very on the ranch very much and while flawless was too they took a lot of trips in that book summer the girl in the book was still very much like city girl and she very much like had to adjust whereas willa just really fell right into it and it was just like country era through and through and i loved that because i loved it so much in book one but in the first book it was nice to have that sort of like you know dipping your toes in dipping your toes in seeing how you feel about the ranch country vibes that whole thing so i really loved so i really love flawless for book one 100 percent gave it five stars totally understand why lc silver made that the first book the amount that you end up loving like the whole chestnut springs vibe the whole environment the whole ranch vibe you are just so ready for book two and you don't even know you don't even know but when you start it you're like oh my god this is like it like this is what i started to fall in love with in book one so yeah i don't know i love these books so much if you can't already tell i'm gonna give heartless five stars as well five plus possibly babe oh i loved it so much and i think the reason i want to give it five plus just like to you guys obviously i have good reason i'm just gonna give it five stars because it's not that serious but you know what i mean like the reason i want to rate it so high is just because i like i said i typically don't like these tropes i mean we're talking single dad trope we're talking kid in the book we're talking slight age difference you know all these things typically not my vibe typically it's not a bit of me love do you know what i mean like it's typically mm, no but i love this book so much and i just have to give credits to a book and an author when they make me like tropes that i typically don't like because it's just written so well and it's just so well done oh like if the next one wasn't a hockey player i wouldn't i i wouldn't be in a rush to read it you know i would be like Let me, uh, i can show i can wait <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I'll update on my Instagram story if I end up reading the next one, but yeah. I mean, obviously I'm gonna read the next one, but you know what I mean. I'll update my Instagram story if I end up reading the next one now before I go. That was this reading vlog. I hope you guys liked it. A quick little finish a book with me, pull an all-nighter, but not really. I didn't really show you guys that part. You guys have been asking so much for me to do the 24-hour reading challenge. I'm really scared to film that video, but I think I'll be able to do it when I get back. 
because I think I'm gonna be like crazy um, jet lagged when I get back, I don't think, I know I am. So yeah, look forward to that. Subscribe if you're not already. Like I said, I leave for Korea in three days now and I have really exciting vlogs planned, but I also have a really fun like book video planned for all my book loves on here. So I'm really excited to film that. And I'm really excited to upload it for you guys. So make sure you subscribe if you're not already, if you like this video. That's it for this video. I hope you're all well. I hope I can get some videos up while I'm gone. This one will be up while I'm gone. Let's see what else I can get up for you guys. But if not, follow me on Instagram for the updates. If you're gonna miss me, I'll miss you guys a lot, even though I'll be uploading. You know what I mean? Uh, love y'all very much. Take care of yourselves the best you can. And I'll see you in the next one. Every time I drink like a love. Like a love.